hey y'all it is Ashley and welcome back to my YouTube channel so I know I have been missing for like a week now and I'm sorry about that but like I've been busy with work and stuff and I wanted to do a New Year's makeup tutorial but you know I got tied up in some stuff and I couldn't upload a video so I decided that I would try to you know do a makeup look for like the new year going into the new year and this is what I came up with I did not know what I would be doing for this video but I really really like how this look came out I was trying to do like a bronze goddess look but <laughs> i just went in a whole nother direction but i'm not mad at it i like the way this look turned out so if you're interested in seeing how i got this look then just keep on watching and don't forget do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel like let's just do that Thank you. I'm first going to prime my face with this Smashbox Primer Water. Y'all already know, this is my favorite. Especially for this dry, cold weather that we're having. Like, I need this hydration. I need this moisture. I'm going to prime with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I don't think this is anything special. I do not think this is anything special. Like, my skin feels matte, but I don't know. What the fix five signs of bad face day fatigue, dullness, dehydration, puffiness, fine lines. But this isn't anything special. So I'm not going to use my um, shine control primer because I'm not going anywhere. And that primer um, and this Becca primer made me feel very matte. So I'm just going to skip my oil control primer. Color correct with my LA Girl Pro Concealers. Y'all know I use this religiously. So I'm all color corrected. I have not decided what foundation I want to use today. I think I'm just going to use my Fenty foundation. I haven't really also been reaching for this foundation because it is a mattifying. I'm, because I'm doing a bronze goddess, I'm going to add this L'Oreal Liquid Glow Illuminator. It's a prime and highlight. And um, I'm just going to add that to my foundation. And this is going to help me get that bronze goddess look that I'm looking for. My Morphe sponge. Y'all know this is my favorite, favorite sponge. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer with this. And hope that it helps out some look how different these colors are because I don't know that is kind of better but the Rihanna foundation was stick into my dry patches and that's the Rihanna foundation was sticking to my dry patches and that's why I don't use this foundation um as much as I used to because it is a mattifying foundation and it really will adhere to your dry patches
So now I'm ready for concealer. I'm gonna try this black opal, um, even true under eye concealer. I don't really like the roller thing for up under my eyes. feels like it's going to be like really really light coverage i do like the color of it and i do like that it has yellow undertones so this is black opal honey and let's hope for the best when it comes to blending this stuff out super duper natural looks really really natural so I'm just gonna look at it again yeah not a lot of coverage but really great color and it blends out really good I might start using this more. Okay, I'm giving out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. We're gonna set everything with that. I contour a little bit with my black opal concealer in the color mahogany. use my Tarte, my Tartiest Contour Palette. This is Volume 3, and I'm going to use these two bronzer shades, 4 and 5, and I'm going to bronze the heck out of my skin. Now I'm about to cut my cheeks right quick. I 
I'm also going to bronze my nose a little teensy wincy bit. take my morphe 441 brush and i'm gonna take the mom crime venus palette uh the color creations and i'm just going to put that in my crease take my modern renaissance palette and i'm going to take the color real gar and i'm also going to put that on my crease I'm going to take the color Rich Orchid. I think that's the color that I want to use. Yeah. And I'm just going to put this on the outer corner. And then I'm just gonna take some concealer. This is the color Fawn, and it's the LA Girl Pro. This is the LA Pro Conceal. And I'm going to like cut my crease. And I'm going to set this with some Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm going to take a small little pencil brush and I'm just going to define my crease some more and I'm going to use the color real gar for that Now, everything that I did to my top, my you now every color that I put on my lid, I'm going to put on the bottom. So I'm going to put on these mad eyelash, these makeup shad mad eye eyelashes, and then I will be right back. All right, y'all. So 
my lashes are on this one right here was giving me giving me so much trouble and i just don't feel like bothering with it anymore so i'm just gonna keep on going and keep on doing what i'm doing so i put on my it cosmetics <laughs> i use my it cosmetics mascara on my bottom and top lashes and i also line my waterline with the nyx black um eyeliner pencil now i'm going to highlight my inner corners and i think i'm going to use this color right here from the modern renaissance Mo modern renaissance palette called primavera i think it looks nice I do not know what highlighter I want to use yet. I'm just going to use my Master Chrome highlighter because this highlighter never fails me. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in Molten Gold. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. And I'm just going to spray my face with this Mario Badescu spray. my mac cheeky bronze mineralized skin finish now i'm going to take this tarte blush and this is the color glisten i'm gonna take this one a little bit pink but I think it'll be fine spray my Mac studio fix plus since my face is done and for lips, I was going to do a nude, but because I have these eyes, I'm going to use the Kylie Lip Kit in Love Bite. Because I do not wear a lot of my, like, fun color lipsticks. So, I think this is really cute. This is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I am so in love with this plum raspberry purple look that I got going on here. It is super cute and I should have done this for my New Year's Eve tutorial. Like, I don't know what I was doing, but she is just ready for the new year. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys like this tutorial then please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel i would definitely appreciate that if you did it so i will see you guys next time bye bye